what, what have you done to, yeah. to not be the Sunday Christian, but to be the everyday Christian? I think it's really hard, isn't it? Because it's so difficult. Okay, for lockdown, it was hard, right? I was working full time. Yeah. I'm a mum. Yeah. I'm a, you know, I've got various hats that I wear in various different roles. Um, so the challenge was very, it was significant. And not only that, then I had homeschool uh -huh. um, and all of those things. But I, I feel like God was just revealing things about where we've maybe gone wrong a lot mm. of the time. For me, it certainly was. Where have I gone wrong? What have I put my hope in? What have I put my trust in? And a lot of the time, it wasn't him. It was, it was the things in my life rather than the one who rules my life, the one who is above and beyond all things. Um, so I think he, he was... And God is so good, isn't he? Because he's so tender with stuff <laughs> in so many different areas where I would be like... What is wrong with you, you stupid woman? Get to, you know, get hold of yourself. Where God is just like, just gently like shows you things and encourages things and brings people into your life. Or, and I love also that for me, God uses stuff that doesn't necessarily have anything to do with the Bible. It doesn't yeah. have to necessarily be that. It yeah. could just be a moment or a picture or yeah. somebody, somebody says something or even in a movie, you know, and it'll just bring me back to hang on, what are you doing? What are you putting your trust in? Why are you sat there every night sticking on Netflix and just zoning out? Zoning out. When you could be filling yourself with my word, when you could be encouraging yourself and supporting yourself. And, and also, I think for our families as well, for me, I, I just had that sense of like, am I, am I the best version that I can be for, for my son, for my yeah. husband, for my colleagues, yeah, for everything yeah. that I do in my life of ministry? And also, do you know what, Fergus? The other thing... And I, I'm not meaning to air all my, uh, all my dirty laundry. I'm like, wow, I'm really being honest. The other thing was like, do I live with authenticity? So I can sit here on Standing Together and, and speak to you guys about the word of God and prayer and the power of this and encountering God. But am I walking that out in, in my everyday life? So when I'm not sat here with you on this incredible set, am I still the person that that I, I seem to be on the screen? Am I still the person that reads her Bible? Am I still the same person that, that honours God and that walks with God? And, or am I, just, am I just full of hot air? And I had that sense as well as a leader and as a minister and as a worship leader as well. You know, wh when we lead from a platform, we have a level of responsibility to ensure that we live this life of authenticity. And I don't get it right. I still, I am sat, sat here to say, I do not get it right a lot of the time. But you know what? God is leading me on a journey where I am, I try a lot harder That's than I ever good. have. And I am so much more aware of that. But I never want to be that person that you see doing this and that and saying this and that. But actually you catch me on a bad day and I'm full of gossip and uh, unforgiveness and resentment or I'm speaking ill of people or I'm chatting behind people's backs and and that was another thing that God really showed me during this season of like do we live that life of authenticity or are you are you just are you just uh... and, and authentic authenticity isn't the thing you put out the front yeah it's not the the stage face no. It's the get up in the morning face. It's, yes. it's at the supermarket face. It's when you actually, you know, fill your car with petrol face. It, yes. It's, it's what, what does your neighbour think of you? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> and what, 